So what do you want us to say? What do you get from that two minutes of the plot, Lord? What do you understand? Uh, it's a thriller film. Okay, or some kind of crime yeah. film. Um, it's something's obviously happened between the female character and the guy Sam Shellis was playing. Some kind of backstory there. Yeah. And it looks like it's been planned. The attack has been planned by seeing all of the the boards with all the dates and. So at the first I thought it was the police. Yeah. And they have the, uh, the board where everybody looks at things. Mm -hmm. And then I thought maybe it was undercover, uh, getting someone who, you know, is selling yeah. drugs. Something so to do, so long, long. to do with their dad. Yeah. Which I thought was a bit controversial because um, the one character had a dad's tattoo on his hands. That was yeah, the one it was killed their dad. Yeah. That was uh, yeah, I yeah, it was a bit. Like, I it's supposed to be like that. Oh, okay. I thought it was a bit kind of controversial. The question his law is he killed someone else's dad yet? Yeah, he he's obviously loves his dad. Yeah, not quite. He loves oh, him for his okay, dad. But he's I didn't, didn't get that from the initial look. But okay, that's fair enough. It's not based off pay buck, isn't it? Kind of pay buck, it's not. So I really think they find out like a revenge attack on that person, mm. and killing off the dad. So. I think the use of um, not so much um, speaking, but the mu but a lot of the music kind of guided us to understand what was going on. I think that was very good. Yeah, I think it made you feel like you wanted to know the, the backstory and find yeah. out what was going to happen. And the two extremes in the one in Jane's t-shirt and leather to the other one in the suit. Mm. So the two extremes, two differences. What did you think about the female lead with the hitman sort of thing? Did you think that was one or we should have kept it as two males? I think it was good that there was, it was like a male and female against one male. That was quite good. And the way, like, because it said Taylor Johnson on the phone didn't need to begin with, and then she was like, I'm Taylor Johnson. Or, you know, so that was, that was quite good. For that part. I got like a, a James Bond theme from it. <coughs> um, like the uh, female being like Q or something, so being the assailant, um, I think that's the word for it, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I got like a James Bond spy thing, especially with the music as well, mm, I got like yeah, spy. Like the, the spy the set all this up, female set it up to get the two people, to get the one bloke to get the other one. Would you what, carry on watching this film if this was the opening two minutes? Yeah. 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 Yeah, better to see somebody mm -hmm. else's reaction when they see people with guns under the subway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would it go? Would it go? Then go back. So like, yeah, yeah. It would tell the story, but then and then end it. No, we just supposed to end it with a gunshot, but you didn't see him. Right, and then obviously it was going to make you question who got shot because you wouldn't know. So even though them two were the only ones with guns and he was the only one, they could have shot one another by accident or something. You wouldn't have known until. But the end of the film, near enough. So it's going to be like a backtrack story. Mm. Okay, thanks for your time, guys.